Creation of the World, Part Three, King James Version. And a river went out of Eden to water the garden, and the Lord God took the man. And put him into the garden of Eden, to dress it and to keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, "Of every tree of the garden, thou mayest freely eat. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it." For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. And the Lord God said, "It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him and help meet for him." And out of the ground, the Lord God formed every beast of the field. And every fowl of the air, and brought them unto Adam, to see what he would call them, and whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. And Adam gave names to all cattle, and to the fowl of the air, and to every beast of the field. But for Adam, there was not found an help meet for him, and the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept, and he took one of his ribs, and closed up the flesh instead thereof, and the rib which the Lord God had taken from man, made he. A woman, and brought her unto the man. And Adam said, "This is now bone of my bones, and the flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother." And shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. And they were both naked, the man and his wife, and were not ashamed. That's it. Thank you. God bless you.